President Bush didn't attend Texas A&M. He's not even a native Texan. So how did it come to be that a Yale University graduate fell so deeply in love with A&M and A&M with him? Well, Aggies will tell you it's just a perfect match. They climb to the highest points on top of parking garages, in pickup trucks, on light poles. And when the plane that carried President George H.W. Bush's body from Washington to Houston flew by, college kids stood silent. A&M is all about pride, patriotism, faith, family, loyalty, respect, all the corny things that sometimes people make fun of. Uh, here they matter. Uh, he was that way. And so I think the connection was almost instant. It started in the 80s with then Vice President Bush making the signature gigum at a graduation speech. In the 90s, he chose Texas A&M to house his presidential library and museum. For the next two decades, he was a mainstay on campus at football games, baseball games, even in classes, especially at the Bush School of Government and Public Service. The class would show up as the president was sitting there, which had to be a little intimidating, but what an experience. Is there a better person to learn from how to serve other people? Danielle Eastman chose A&M because of the Bush School. She's a current grad student, so she only saw Bush in his later years, leaving an event in his wheelchair. And he waved to us and then a few minutes later, 43 came out and stopped and said, good morning girls, thanks for being here. And so um, it was a really neat, rare opportunity um, to get to interact with them. His influence here cannot die because the values he and A&M share must live on. You know, we just can't wait to get him home. He's almost there. Now, of course, Texas A&M also has a rich military tradition with the Aggie Corps of Cadets, and that is one more reason that Bush chose Aggieland as home. Live at Texas A&M, Teresa Woodard, Channel 8 News. Teresa, thank you so much for that. We